Hey everybody, so I want to show you Vex VR, which is like a virtual robotics platform online. It's free to use, it's awesome. So our next unit, we are going to try and solve a maze, but via Vex, which I think you'll really like. So if you go to our website, I basically said, here's the instructions that are here. You know, so our goal is going to be to make it to the finish line, right? Make it to the finish line touching two letters, numbers. Those are your approaching standards. Uh, make it to the finish line using loops, which is harder. That's proficient. And then exemplary, if you can not touch the barrier, make it to the finish line, touch two letters, numbers, and use a loop. So what you want to do is you want to use Safari. And I know. I know. It's Safari. But for some reason, trying to do it in Google it just it doesn't work very well and then you want to use this address so vrvex.com so I'm gonna copy and paste that and I'm going to then go over here and I'm gonna open Safari I know I know it's Safari but like for real it's pretty good so I'm gonna copy and paste that address in there which is vrvex.com boom look familiar right it's scratch we've done this before you're smart Right? There's a drivetrain, looks, controls, operators, loops. What you want to do is you want to go to the playground. And if you go up here to the playground, you've got a lot of different things to select. Grid, art canvas, dynamic wall maze, disc mover. We want wall maze. So we go to wall maze, and look at that bad boy. So we've got, and there's a tutorial section if you want. Getting started, moving and removing bricks, driving forwards, backwards, turning, using loops you might find beneficial. Uh, but I think for Scratch, we're pretty good with everything else. So I don't feel like you guys necessarily need that. You're pretty smart. So right now I have coded, so there's my robot. You can see it right there. And there's a letter, A, B, C, D. You want to get your robot from here to here. So I coded drive forward for 200 millimeters and then turn left. So when I press play, see my little robot, he goes and then he turns. And then I can just stop it right there. And then if I want, I can reset it. Boom. And he goes right back there. Try it again. Cool. Okay. Let's add another block of code. So he's going to go right. Um, here, my face is in the way. Drive forward, drive forward for 200 millimeters, turn right, turn right for 90 degrees, turn heading, stop driving, set up velocity, magnet you're not going to use, looks you're probably not going to use, control, right, we've seen this before, wait, repeat, forever loops, etc. So I'm going to drive forward again, another 200 millimeters, and let's see what happens. So I put that in there. Okay, ready, forward, left forward ooh there we go right so i'm going to then turn right for 90 degrees so let's reset it so i can check my code every single time how cool is that or shh look at this now i might drive backwards hey go up here it's hard to see so you got to drag a lot of stuff around i'm going to close that window Let's say dry reverse. Okay, now let's check this out. Forward, left, forward, right, reverse. Oh, I hit the wall. Man, don't want to hit the wall. So I hit the wall because I didn't go forward enough. So let's try that again. Let's try, let's change that to 220. Oh, yeah. Reset, see what happens. Forward, left, forward, right. Yeah, boom, I hit the ladder. Now I can go forward again, right? Now it's a longer thing to solve that maze. So I know you guys are pretty smart. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna reset it, do it again. Forward, left, forward, right, back. Oh yeah. So you get the idea. I feel like you're pretty smart and that you guys should be able to handle this. You're going to want to do a video and record your screen when you've made it through the maze. 
and you're going to want to have your code and take a screenshot of your code as well. Take some screenshots. You can take some videos of your failures too. Failures are awesome. Look at my websites. Again, our goal is, most basic goal is to make it to the finish line or make it to the finish line touching two letters numbers before you get there. That's not a hard goal. You could do that in a little bit. If you want to get some loops in there, that's what we're talking. If you want to get really crazy, make the finish line, touching letters and numbers, use three loops, don't touch the barrier. Okay? And I know you can do it. When you're in here, you've got some different things with loops under the controls. I'm not going to tell you, though. You're going to learn that for yourself. But if you do get stuck, see right here, click on that tutorials, and I bet you that loops thing will really help you out. Uh, and then we're going to go back. And you can do that. So in the playground, you want the maze, the wall maze, right? That's what we want. Okay, so if you have questions, let me know. Good luck. I'm excited to see what you do.